guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is part two in my Breadwinning Housewife series. My voice is gone, I'm sorry. A lot of this is gonna be voiceover because here we are. But this is gonna be the Breadwinning Housewife video for the holiday season. We're doing a little bit of a gift guide. We're doing how I wrap presents, home decor, house tour, drink recipes, appetizers, sprouts trip, the mecca of what it means to be a breadwinning housewife in the winter time or any other apologies. So, hope you guys enjoy. We actually recently released breadwinning housewife merch, which I'll have linked below. Sorry about my voice. Comment below if you put your tree up before or after Thanksgiving. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. Love you guys so much, and let's get started with the video. Surprise, surprise, we are at Sprouts, which is honestly my favorite place in the entire world at this point. By the way, my outfit, um, I know there's probably gonna be questions because I too am obsessed with this vest. The vest is H&M, and then the sweatpants and the top are both Aritzia. Shoes are old Yeezys. Yeah, that's the outfit. Anyways, very important to start at Sprouts. You know, go into the far and fresh aisle, act like you're healthy, or spend most of the time in, or your time in the cheese section, which is, Honestly, what I do, anyways, I had to pick up some stuff to make some appetizers and then to make some cute little festive drinks, which we will get into. And then also I had to pick up my favorite chocolates, which you guys have probably seen recently on my Instagram story. Um, but we will be talking about those in about two seconds. I talked about Evolve in a vlog with Dom. We are obsessed with these. Basically, it's really high quality organic chocolate. No soy, no dairy, no cane sugar to drag you down. Everything they make is organic, paleo, and vegan. They're also keto. You don't have to be keto. I'm not keto and I eat these all the time. Dom is obsessed with the white chocolate. That's her favorite. I like the hazelnut. They're really good. Also, these are the best sell. They're also now available at Sprouts Farmer's Market, which is literally my favorite place in the entire world, as we know. Anyways, these are great for the holiday season, whether you're entertaining or you just want them at home. They are so good I'll link them below but also go to Sprouts pick them up send me a photo of you at Sprouts with Evolve chocolate this is very me you know so thank you to Evolve for sponsoring this portion of the video they have keto cups hazelnut which is my favorite they also have the coconut butter so good Dom's favorite is the white chocolate and then they have these keto brownie batters they're amazing again really good for the holiday season I'll have them linked below also again go check them out at Sprouts yes it is the best day of the year At this point, anthropology quite literally created Christmas. I go here when I'm having an off day and it just fixes everything. Honestly, I won't say it's cheaper than therapy, but it is a good alternative, okay? Let's be honest, it's beautiful. Look at that glassware, I love that. If that doesn't scream Kenzie, I, know. I don't know what does. This is so cute. Anthropology is a gem at all times. It can you know, suck you in for hours, but I will say, at the holiday time, there is something different, okay? So, here I am shopping. I get some stuff for my home. I get great gift ideas. I love this scarf. They just have really cute, like, home decor in general and little, like, cute trinkets, ornaments, glassware. I mean, the kitchen stuff really gets me. Um, it's also really, really a great place to go if you are getting a gift for a hostess. As you get older, these things matter. Here's some aprons. Here's some more kitchen stuff. Um, but I always like to have little gifts on hand for my friends who are hosting or friends' parents or whatever it is. So here I am getting, of course, you know, some holiday candles for me, not for the host, but um, also picking up some stuff. So like, here are good options. I love this little candle set. I love this little sleep mask. The slippers are really cute. I actually just got those brown ones. They have great cheese boards, good little shot glasses, ornaments. Honestly, grabbing a cute little personalized ornament is actually cute if it's earlier in the year. Um, and then I also had to pick up, you know, some wrapping paper. That was very important. Um, Scrabble, these are really, really great gifts just in general. If you ever, ever need gift ideas, I have a whole gift guide which will be down below. It's always linked in the description box. I always have it on like my TikTok, like to know it, everything. But anyways, here I am checking out, spending, you know, way more money than I would have if I would have just booked a therapy appointment. But honestly, it's fine. You have to just, you know, 
go after what what makes your heart warm what makes your um you happy your dreams soar i don't know you know i'm just trying to like make some excuses i think All right, guys, Barista Kenzie is here. Here we have a little hot apple cider drink. You're going to start with Liquid IV, which I love. And I know so many of you guys had it, so I wanted to incorporate it into a drink. I saw this on TikTok, um, adding in some apple cider. Um, also, this mug is Anthropology last year. That's what I'm telling you guys. I've been Anthropology like through and through. A little bit of cinnamon syrup, and then there you go. Super cute. Add a little apple into it, you know. Makes you feel really put together. Then we have this little cute caramel caramel apple martini. Um, as you guys can see, again, I get all of my drink recipes on like TikTok, Pinterest, all of that stuff. Um, but it really just makes you feel so put together when you're making a drink. Also, it's really important to be able to, you know, bartend a little bit as a host. Um, the first one obviously was a mocktail, the second one an alcohol, so it just like whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know? Moving on to my cute little appetizer. Could have been cuter. Okay, we have cranberry brie dip. This tasted really good. Um, I didn't have the dish. I don't know where my dish went that I would normally bake the brie in. So it kind of got all over the place, but it's really easy. You just melt the brie for a little bit. And then I also decided to go with bread. Go the extra, go the extra mile, do the bread, don't do the chips. It honestly makes a huge difference. So once it's been melting for a little bit, you're going to kind of take the top layer off. I decided to make this a little one band thing. It wasn't really supposed to, but that's what I do. Cranberry dip, put that back in there. Wouldn't take it out of the oven. Add on some honey, some little like rosemary, you know, put it on a cute little plate, make it look good. And there you go. This is one of the best appetizers ever. I pretty much ate this entire thing myself. So no regrets. Christmas wrapping is a very obviously important part of the holiday season. I typically have two different wrapping papers. This year I'm gonna do three. I got this from Paper Source a few weeks ago, and then I'll probably do like a plaid. I don't have that yet. I also got this, which I wouldn't do two patterns typically, but I do like the color scheme. Important because your wrapping paper actually kind of doubles as decor. I wrap my gifts immediately and put them under the tree. And it's also very important to have gifts ready for the hosts or hostesses. I had my first holiday party next week, so I got the hostess a little cute gift. First thing I got are these anthropology slippers. Such a good gift. And then this, you can't see, but it's like this little pink ornament. That's a good hot glue gun. She's very crafty. It's my friend's mom. As you can see, it is so cute. We're gonna take the price tags off, obviously. I'm not the best gift wrapper. It's honestly a pretty big insecurity of mine because you would think it'd be something that I'd be good at. I'm not, don't worry. So I thought this was cute. And then these slippers are, slippers are such a good gift because like who doesn't want them, you know? Not the worst thing ever. I just brought this out. This is a really cute little hostess of the Moses gift set. Um, it's a candle inside that I'm currently burning, but if you're running late, like it's already wrapped basically and it's cute and you can just put something on it. Like you really wouldn't have to wrap this. It's cute, good on the go. And then I also got this sticker booklet. I always get these um, for the holiday season and then you just have everything ready to go. You can get them cheaper like on Amazon, but I like this one. So I'm using a box, I have this. And normally I would add a little tissue, um, not today. Life hack, if your parents are divorced or even if you're married, you have two sides of the family. I always use one wrapping paper for one Christmas and then the other, so like one for my mom's, one for my dad's, and then I have stuff for my friends. Um, comment below what my third wrapping paper should be. I think plot or something. You know, like I said, you can't be good at everything and um, unfortunately wrapping presents is Probably the thing that I am the worst at, which is, you know, you, you would think it would be one of those things that I would somehow excel in, as you know, this breadwinning housewife. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I actually need to like take a class on this because it really bothers me. I'm very insecure about it. But 
is the thought that counts. I honestly need to go to like a gift wrapping class. I just am so bad at it. I don't do just one wrapping day because it really overwhelms me. It makes me miserable. I just will have like a wrapping station, bring it out, and then I do it throughout the season and then have all my gifts under my tree. And then it's very happy and cute. So this is the first one of the season. It's also November 12th, so. Housework time, guys. My house is truly a little winter wonderland. I need more space already. I've already gone this way. So the first thing you'll notice is this garland. I got this last year, I believe, from Target. I believe these are from Target as well. I know it's linked on my like to know it. It's so crazy that these are here. They actually genuinely were just here, but you guys want Red Bunny Housewife merch? I will have it linked below. We have cute sets. We have cute hats. We have cute totes. Truly the perfect Christmas gift if you think about it. Okay, so you move over here. This is like my living space area. It's really like discombobulated right now. Like we're still in the middle of figuring this out. This area is actually like two feet smaller than it needs to be in order for me to have all the furniture that I want. Like it doesn't actually fit, but it's just slightly too small. With the Christmas decor, well, I recently got a love sack because I, as we've discussed, have decided that I'm now 17 and no longer 16. I also got, this is not Christmas decor, but I got this like a ventless fireplace from Target. This candle is anthro. This, I have no idea. This is CB2. This, I wanna say is CB2. Target, I think my mom's friend got that for me, which is so cute. I brought back out my CB2 chessboard candles. I put out a new blanket I got from Anthropology and I didn't think it was gonna be this pinkish. But honestly, it's fine. I like love blankets, you can never go wrong. Moving over here, I have holiday candles obviously throughout the entire house. This flower, this is, it's really on its last leg. So over here, as my little centerpiece, I just have this cute little tray with some Christmas trees. This just always stays. It's my art from Mackenzie Jones. I'll have her Instagram linked below. You can go to hell, I'm going to Texas. So we have my beautiful Christmas tree. My mom is actually an interior designer and she decorates Christmas trees as well. She didn't decorate this one. She just helped me pick it out. So it normally looks a little bit better than this. I have a bunch of my ornaments, like again, linked on like to know it. So we'll like go through and have them all linked. But I have these cute little anthro ones. The tree itself is from Hobby Lobby. A lot of the ornaments are from CB2 West Elm. This one is a Dolly Parton ornament, the ultimate breadwinning housewife. Um, and that's from Favor the Kind, which is a little like local shop in Dallas. I have this cute like green disco ball ones. I also have like massive ones like this one right here. And then the basic ornaments I think are just for Target. But I have a lot of cute like this little like frog from me throw. And then as time goes on I have more Christmas gifts under the tree. I only have one right now. But that is it for down here and what I have for my little Christmas decor. I love Christmas. This tree has been up since November 2nd, so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you to Evolved for sponsoring, and be sure to check them out and go to your local Sprouts, which is my favorite place in the entire world. Love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. This time last year, we were both so miserable and depressed. We didn't leave my house in literally until February. Yeah, January. The only time we left the house was to go to the Starbucks drive-thru. Yeah, and Trader, no, and we wouldn't even go to the grocery store. We Instacarted everything. Yeah, no, we didn't. And we were so sad and we had, I mean, we did have friends. We were just ignoring them. And I mean, now we have way better friends. Way better.